Listen, a lot of you guys probably know by now that I do, in fact, like to talk about all of the horrible shit that the Smash community has done, uh, is doing, will do. But I'm going to be honest here, it's not for the reason that many people think, and it's definitely not for the reason that most people like to say. I'm making this quick video because, well, I, I think it's an extremely disturbing situation, which makes me feel like some people might be afraid to even talk about it. Like, I feel like the most that most people will talk about it is to barely make a tweet reply about it. And besides, the situation is actually about Smash Bros and people in the Smash Bros communities. So I bet you can guess who won't be making videos shedding light on it. Uh, if you guessed Smashers, you are correct. But I don't have Twitter and I usually, if I have something that I want to talk about or say something about, it will be more than, you know, like a, a little blue box with a hundred character limit. And when I say I do like to talk about all this horrible smasher shit, uh, I just want you to know that what I mean is I think it's good to spread awareness of the situation because obviously I don't think it is a good thing like at all that this kind of stuff goes on. But, but let me tell you something. For the last two years or so, I throw out a video like this just to bring to light some of the stuff that's um, I've seen and stuff that's been reported at certain smash scenes. Everything's spanning from tournament settings where there are adults bullying children like uh, an adult player bullying a child uh, player you know and then to everything else from violent criminals being arrested actual violent criminals who had been arrested and then are allowed back into events where there will be children attending and the reason that they're even allowed back in is just because the player is a like a locally known player, so it's better for business. Oh, you know, that Luigi's going to be there, so, you know, let, let's let him in, you know, because more people might show up. And then, you know, all the way up to uh, Smashers bludgeoning family members, and then the community reaction being, yo, this isn't ban-worthy. Can you imagine that? Because that's a real thing, too. And then there's also, obviously child predators and and people grooming and sexually assaulting minors at these events it's actually horrible so of course i don't think any of this is good no normal person does but i do like to talk about it only because i think it's important to spread the awareness of it no matter how small my audience might be no matter how few clicks my video might get maybe it will open a few eyes and these are things that are confirmed to have happened. The players, even the ones who are confirmed self-admitted pedophiles, are still in the community uh, playing the game, streaming it, and creating content for large audiences. And in some cases, they're living financially more comfortable than you and I are right now and ever will because they're sh uh, constantly showered in donations and subs by the Smash community. That's right. I mean, I keep saying it. A very, very large chunk of the Smash community are financially supporting criminals. I'll ask it again. I've asked this before, and I'll just say it again. H how does it feel knowing that sexual predators are living very comfortably and nicely playing video games all day for a living? Uh, because the Smash community are supporting them financially. Doesn't that just... Uh does that leave a good taste in your mouth? Now listen, I'm not um, moist critical or anything. I said it before, I'm not pulling in 2.5 million views per video or anything like that. Um, but, but uh, you know, some sometimes people ask me like in the comments, yo, what are you making these videos for? No one clearly cares. Well, maybe that's the problem. But I feel like putting out something, even if it's just my own little video like this and uh, and sending it out to my own audience might go a long way in pulling in just a few new eyes and opening their mind and eyes to the situation you know maybe a few people who are like borderline smashers people who just picked up the game and are thinking about going to tournaments maybe they'll see it and they'll be like wow like this community is really fucking awful maybe this isn't something i want to be involved in and that would be the right choice i just found out about this situation and i want you to know that it is very very disturbing i am not going to tell their story for them and i couldn't even if i wanted to because i am not a very good storyteller believe me i might be able to talk into a camera but i can't tell stories just ask anyone who watches my streams i actually don't even know how like comfortable i feel saying who it is or linking anything to it I, I know i just kept saying trying to bring light to things and shedding awareness of things but look i don't know how when things are this serious how comfortable people are with other people, especially people that they don't know, 
are talking about it. Does that make sense? I, I guess my point is that I won't say who it is or link anything in this video, but if you wanna know what's going on, assuming you already don't, maybe you already do, then it doesn't matter. But if you do want more information on, the, on what I'm talking about, then I guess you can just join my Discord and I'll link you the stuff and talk and tell you like who it is and what's going on just a little more privately. So I just hope that makes sense. So like I said, I'm not going to tell this person's story for them. I really think it would be disrespectful for me to even try. There is a lot more to it than what I'm going to just explain. But the gist of it then is that there was a content creator who recently came forward explaining, among other things, that they were harassed, threatened, and eventually assaulted by members of a certain Smash community. Um, people were even going to their mailbox, leaving weapons in their mailbox, I guess, as a statement to say, I clearly know where you live, and I clearly know how to get weapons. So, you know, a, a, a scare tactic, a, a threat. This person was even raped by the members of that community. Like, these people are... People is a is too kind of a word for these degenerate life forms, and uh, they even, according to the content creator, kept a recording of the result, uh, a, a recording of the assault, but they clearly deny it. Like this is some of the most fucked up shit that I've ever heard in my life. And what's actually crazy though is that I can't even say that I'm completely surprised. Like the track record of the Smash community at, at this point is so bad. Like. I don't even know. Uh, like, there has to be a point where the Smash community finally, officially goes down as the worst gaming community of all time. Like, this has to be it, right? I've been the victim of some pretty serious targeted harassment. Um, people spreading lies, people uh, deep faking Twitch clips, and you know, just threats too. People telling me that they want to pump me full of lead and they want to kill my dog and fuck my dead grandma's corpse, but. Then there's just the daily messages that I get on a constant basis telling me that I should kill myself and my whole family should get cancer. You know, what's crazy is that when I do bring this stuff up with pretty much exponentially growing evidence evidence each time is that the community itself is 99.9% .9 people just telling me that I deserve it for one reason or another. Either they have heard of me, I'm just Jayzo, that one guy that they've heard of in a negative way, so they don't even know me, so ah, fuck him, he deserves it. Or they know me because I'm just the spammy me gunner and I deserve it. But listen, the shit that I deal with, the shit that I'm talking about really is nothing. It really is nothing compared to what this one content creator uh, has gone through and is going through right now. I mean, I'm just constantly barraged with Twitch and YouTube comments from hate raiders all the time, uh, harassment, whatever, but... Um, even when I'm streaming something that isn't Smash, I'm just constantly harassed on my Twitch. So this person also mentions that they can't have a career online anymore because of this. And that is something that I understand because I gave up on that a long time ago too. But let me be clear, I seriously in no way can compare what I get to what they have been through. Um, it is and are still going through. It is seriously, seriously awful. I am really, really sorry to the person that this uh, is happening to and, and happened to. There is no world where these fucking stains of shit should ever, ever get away with anything like this. And it's just awful. The Smash community somehow, get, they get away with a lot and it's really not good at all. I also just want the creator to know, it would actually be crazy if they ever saw this, but I want the creator to know that I am on their side about everything, everything. The community is a piece of shit, a collective piece of a turd. It is absolutely awful. And I just want the creator to know that, again, I'm really sorry that it's all happened. And, and you know, um, I am on their side about everything. I just thought it was sort of important to say that because um, I do know some other people who have been victims of harassment and even uh, threats and stuff like that. In the Smash community, we're still talking about Smashers. And I just want to say that that's important because I I know it's difficult sometimes uh, to find people and communities where you can talk about that because I think there are very few places where you can shit on the Smash Bros community or bring up serious things even with the Smash community without being attacked by them firsthand, you know, on Twitter and Reddit or whatever other websites they mostly use. Like, they're all over all these websites. So you'll find that if you try to, you know, bring something serious up or 
it doesn't matter if even if it's anything from jokes about them to serious allegations about certain individuals in, in a community you'll find that you will be attacked anyway I, i'm i'm going off on a side thing here i just wanted to make that point clear like um i, I think it's hard to find a community where you're voice can be heard without you be also being attacked by on the sidelines by smashers themselves so i just thought again once again that's sort of important that i say that i'm i'm on their side and i don't want to hear about how it's just a few bad apples or a couple of little communities because if that were true i would i wouldn't have endless fucking content to throw at you every time i stream that game with the countless dms i get telling me to kys and about the twitter screenshots i see all the time and the twitch clips and you know the smash streamers and the uh, it, it, the list goes on you know the news stories of people hurting each other at events events that children frequently go to and i wouldn't have to remind you all the time that the community in its majority not the little minority little clicks is the problem with the constant supporting of child predators and bullying little kids and of course not to mention that story i just told you about with the content creator being harassed uh threatened and then eventually assaulted it's a horrible example that i really wish never happened and honestly shouldn't never have happened and by the way a few bad apples spoils the bunch is how the full saying goes so when you say it's just a few bad apples then you're basically admitting that these bad apples are making your community look like shit but guess what i mean for the last like six years or so that's all we've ever seen it's just shitty person after shitty person on twitch discord reddit twitter screenshots criminal activities pedophiles stories of you know uh, uh, bludgeoning and violence at events it's all this shit and there are two responses that i see most often when i bring stuff like this up one is uh why don't you play something else if you don't like it um like no your dumb mario game is not the problem i grew up with smash communities all my life i've been playing the game since smash 64 and i was playing with friends back then and then in melee then in brawl project m and so forth and if it was just the game that i disliked then i would have stopped playing the game but actually that's not the i've actually liked every smash game since 64 except ultimate i think ultimate sucks but that's not the point the point is the community is what's uh, the problem and that leads me to the second thing which people often say to me in response to stuff like this which is uh why don't you just leave this community alone and stop bothering us and talking about us if you hate us so much well wouldn't you fucking actually like that i like <laughs> yeah you i bet you would like that if i just stopped talking about you and stopped making videos you would love it if everyone who found issues with your community just ignored it and move on like that would be the best situation for you it's like a fucking murderer saying to a witness oh yeah if you don't like that murder then maybe you should just mind your own business like some witnesses uh, <laughs> i don't know bad example no i do have friends who are and like not me other people who are still harassed to this day because they used to be a part of smash communities so yeah i bet you would love that if uh every time a smasher at the uh you know at the top level or you know some some person in the smash community a to an official whatever you want to call I'm, i bet whenever somebody like that does something awful or something terrible happens that you would like everyone to just stay quiet and you know if you don't like that why don't you just mind your own business and stop talking about it if you hate us so much yeah but guess what that is too bad because i am here and i am going to continue to make videos and talk about how fucking shit you are uh yeah this was one of the most horrible things i've ever had to read like ever i'm not talking about just in the smash bros news or anything i just mean like ever anywhere but the fact that it happened because it was in a smash community just like like again how many fucking times do we have to prove that your community is terrible i mean like really criminally terrible before nintendo just sends out like a fucking like update to everyone's nintendo switch to just crash the game on launch and just cease and desist playing the game at any location where people congregate but yeah let me just wind this video down i wasn't even sure if i was going to make a video talking about it i've only part of this video was about that because again uh, it would be disrespectful for me to tell their story for them i would say that i hope the smash community does better but uh i honestly i agree with what the uh content creator said it was the second to last statement in their um in their twit long uh, twit longer statement 
where they said um, they won't do better. Because no, they won't do better. Of course they won't. And they'll do anything that they can to protect their Mario fighting game. I just hope that they eventually realize how fucking awful they look to the people looking at them from outside their little cult. They look... It's bad. Real, real bad.